all of fitness models, hair is very high up. The higher you can make your hair, the more subs you have. They should have a sub to hair ratio. The higher your hairstyle, the more subs you have. I should get my brother who's a biostatistician to do some research studies on that. Coach Greg, and today I'm going to go over V Shreds, how to get shredded program that it's available for free on the internet. It's basically an ad to harm, but we're going to go over into it. We're going to see what happens and see what you think. See if I think it makes sense or not. And just give you an idea of how people make money and how the internet is amazing for people. Okay, so we go to vshred.com and you type in vshred.com, any of his videos, there's like a link and you click in and he's like, if you wanna find out what type of body type you have, you know, click the link below. So I click the link below. Then it asks some questions, your height, your weight, your age. Type them all in and it came out that I, and I, it said, what is your goal? I said my goal is I'm happy with my current muscle and all that stuff, but I just want to lose that last layer of fat. So I just want to shred it up and just be like shredded. So it said I need 2,954 calories. Got to be exact. I need 359 grams of carbs, 195 grams of protein, one gram of protein per pound of body weight, and 82 grams of fat. The reason for that is, well, fat's at 25% of my total calorie intake. The protein is set, it's at set at one gram per pound. So if you wrote 200, it's gonna say 200, if you wrote 150. So that's what it's doing. And then it remains the rest as carbs, 48.6%. So that's how they figured out. He's a ISSA certified trainer, 8 million fans on Facebook, 1.7 million subs on YouTube, nearly a million subs on Instagram, 27 or so years old, six foot one, 180 chiseled sexy pounds, a 9.9 .9 Richter scale hotness rating, meaning he can get away with almost anything and make money because he's so freaking good looking. All right, so once you fill it in and you get the whole thing, a 30-minute video appears. Well, it's 29 minutes and 38 seconds, I think. And so I'm going to go over this video and see if what he says makes sense, critique it, say if the science supports it or not, and if he's maybe just a pretty face or if he's, in fact, a super genius. You're about to learn a trick that you can use to make your muscles grow 51% faster. It's a trick, magic, hocus pocus. To make my muscles grow by 51%, not 50, 51%. Muscles grow 51% faster while doing half the reps. So half the reps, but I'm gonna grow my muscles 51% more. I wonder what he's gonna do. And you'll do it without giving up the foods that you love or without starving yourself. All of them. Pizza ice cream. I love pizza and ice cream and garlic fingers. Can't wait. I'm giving up my own diet. I can't wait to eat his diet because I'm going to eat all the foods I love. Better have French toast on that freaking diet. Better have French toast. And he's going to allow me to reduce cardio to almost nothing. Almost zero cardio on his plan. And it's going to be the kind of magical cardio that burns fat for up to 48 hours after doing it. You combo these three techniques and you will be turning heads of the pool so fast. I can promise you that. Does that sound cool to you? Where do I send my credit card information? I want the plan. I can't wait. There's nothing more disheartening than to be on that never ending cycle of diets and training your butt off but never really getting the look that you want. Yeah, you know, I get the frustration. And meanwhile, bluff, 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 all these sexy beast models are showing up. Half of them are on anabolics and they're like showing, oh yeah, I can't get that look. What do you think? Half the people are taking steroids. That is this big secret. Oh, FYI, this guy is natural too, by the way. He is. He's not overly crazy. I would do a natty or not thing. I think he is natural. I'm not like blown away. He's just naturally very good looking. Boom, natural, awesome.
you're gonna be shocked at how fast your body changes. But you are gonna have to pay attention and actually make the simple changes that I suggest in this video. I thought I could just watch the video and then I would automatically just change. I mean, you have to actually follow the tips. I thought I could just hear the tips and it would work. He had to point that out. He pointed that out. And hopefully the info that I give you will help you realize that it's not your fault. He really points that out a lot. He's very sympathetic. He's on my team. He knows how hard it is. It's not my fault. It's my parents' fault. It's my girlfriend's fault. It's not my fault because I never put the fork down. I never did enough cardio. It's not my fault that that happened. Somebody else force fed me and somebody else held me back from going to the gym. And I'd also like to educate you on why most of the common tactics that you're probably currently trying or have tried to get shredded are actually having the opposite effect. Yeah, he's right. We're watching his freaking videos like the 11 snacks you should eat that are low calorie, which are the opposite of low calorie snacks. I hear that story over and over, literally every single day. I know, I know that's frustrating, guys. I get it, I've been there. We get emails from everyone complaining and he's gonna give us a secret. He's just going on and on. I haven't gotten the secret yet. Then he posts up a guy and he's got gyno and it's like, yeah, okay, is the secret gonna be that you have to buy uh, steroids at the end of this? What's gonna happen? I'm getting bored. I'm six and a half minutes in the video. I must admit, I wanna find out something soon. All right, you ready? Here they are. Finally, at seven and a half minutes into the video, because it's tip number one. I mean, if you made it seven and a half minutes into that video, you're desperate and you might even buy a plan from this guy. What I'm talking about is TUT, which stands for time under tension. 99% of guys don't take advantage of this. 99%, that means 1% do. So that means only one person in the gym, so that's me, I'm the only one. There are, in fact, more than 1% of people that train with Tut in mind. 1%. I have 240,000 subscribers. That's quite a bit. Probably half of them have watched my videos. Probably half of them do some Tut training because of my videos. That's 100,000 people. 1%. That, I mean, come on. It can't be only 1% of people that do time under tension training. There's other people that talk about this. Yeah, some people don't follow it. Some people just do one rep maxes all the time. But really, it's not groundbreaking. So let's see what else he says. It's not 99%. Come on. Say like half the people don't. Like half the people are morons that watch this video. With good form, causes 37% more muscular growth just six hours following your workout and 51% more muscular growth 24 hours after your workout. Wonder what else? What about 48 hours? Maybe it seems to be going up. Is it 70% more? Is it 500% more muscle growth 16 weeks later? Where is this? And that's compared to doing more faster motions. Well, compared to doing faster motions, what? Compared to 30 seconds, 20 seconds, one rep max, six reps? You need to compare. You can't just say, do this, it's 37% better than that, when you don't say what that is and 51% more muscular growth 24 hours after your workout compared to doing faster and heavier contractions, AKA just throwing around heavy weight. Okay, so anyway, that's the secret number one. Pretty sure that what matters is how much muscle you build over weeks, not in 24 hours. What if you lost it 48 hours? Like, the, yeah, it's just a bunch of nonsense. So the second thing I need you to stop doing is calorie restrictive crash diets. I'll bet you didn't know that your crash diets are actually causing your body to switch into what is known as starvation mode, which causes you to start storing fat even though you may feel like you're starving all the time. You can't store fat in a deficit. You can't get calories out of nowhere. You can't breathe them in. <gasps> I'm fat now. I didn't eat enough. I'm now fat. It's stupid, idiotic comments like that that ruin it for everyone. I get people, well, the reason that I can't lose weight is I don't eat enough. I starve myself. That's why I'm so fat. Are you stupid? No, it's not. You don't put the fork down. You eat too much. You put peanut butter in your freaking banana. Butter to that banana, and that's just going to help fill you up a little bit more. That's what you're doing. And when this happens, your metabolism crashes down to a screeching halt. Your metabolism comes to a screaming a halt. Stop. And the little food that you do eat turns to fat. 
So when you starve yourself, your body magically has the ability to survive without using calories. And your body stops burning calories and starts storing the little bit of food that you do eat as fat. If you don't eat for long enough, you can fly. Gravity doesn't apply to you anymore. It doesn't. You don't need calories to get fat. You just store them because your metabolism is halted. Oh, stop. Does that make sense to you? Does he make any sense? No, he's just trying to spew out a bunch of nonsense to make you feel bad about yourself. Oh, I tried that crash diet thing one time and it, it didn't work and no wonder I just to starve myself. No wonder I didn't lose any fat. I need to eat more, ooh. So stupid, if you don't eat enough, you're gonna lose weight. If you crash diet, you're going to lose muscle. That's the poopy part about it. We don't wanna lose muscle. Muscle's metabolically active. Muscle makes you burn calories. Having more muscle is good. But if you don't eat, even though you're in this starvation mode where you're burning less calories through non-exercise activity thermogenesis, your need calorie expenditure goes down because you don't have enough energy. And so instead of being video and making crazy and moving around, you're very tired and you save energy and you don't move. And when you're driving, a shoulder check is too much work. I have to turn my head all over there. I'm just turning. That's starvation mode. Your body saves energy by moving less. It sits and doesn't move. It says, I ain't getting up to the bathroom. I'll store two poops and I'll poop once and have one big poop, then walk to the bathroom twice to do two poops. That's what happens. You burn less calories because you move less. That's starvation mode. You sit down, you don't move, you don't fidget, you don't tap your feet, you don't listen to music, you don't bop your head, you don't rap to your favorite song, and you don't move your hands as much. Less neat! That's what happens! He doesn't explain it like that. Now, carb cycling is a pro trick that every fitness model and athlete that I know use to strip off body fat fast. I used to think I was a fitness person. I guess I am not because I don't do carb cycling. It's about as close to a magic bullet as there is. You'll use carb cycling to really just strip down your body fat, get rid of those stubborn areas. He doesn't even explain what it is. He just says it's the magic way to lose fat. He doesn't explain it. And then after you do that, we don't know what it is, but it's carb cycling. It's amazing. You want to watch a video on carb cycling? Feel free to go watch Fuad Abiyad's he did a video on carb cycling. Watch that video. I'm not going to do a video on carb cycling right now. I will just tell you that I don't do it and don't believe in it and don't think it's necessary. But I'm not gonna go. But Fuad explains it at least. He says what it is. And so this guy's not even explaining it. At least explain it and let us decide if it's good or bad. Oh, you can look at it later. And then after that, you do flexible dieting, which is the only way you can diet long term that works and it's what i personally do because i'm really good looking and so if i say it you're gonna buy it because that's what i do i eat you know all my favorite foods whatever i want all i do is you look at your weight and then you look at your calories and based on your weight you just follow the calories and then there it's flexible dieting you just do it even though nobody knows how to add calories and whatnot it's just gonna work because i'm good looking and i said so but for the third thing that you're probably messing up that's causing you to not truly get shredded is how you're doing cardio. The third thing. So this is the third big secret. I'm disappointed with the first two because I learned to zero. Zero. It's how we do cardio. We're doing it all wrong. Did you know that walking or jogging on the treadmill for long periods of time at one pace is actually one of the slowest ways to lose body fat? No, because it's not. He made it up. He's lying. It is not true. You're going to believe I'm very good looking or I'm smart and I did triathlons and I know this and I've done stats and I've done videos on this. Let's see. Let's see what else he says. Why is it the worst? Why is it burning the fewest? Let's see. But let's say you do take that route. You have to do tons of it. I'm talking hours per day, every day for months to see any kind of significant body fat loss. Hours per day? Well, geez, in an hour on the bike, I burn a, a 800 calories. And so I have to do hours per day. So if I did four hours of that, I'd burn about a pound of fat. Hmm, I don't know. I, let's compare it to his methods. Okay, so I'm burning in an 800 calories in an hour on average at just my average pace. You know, I'm not breaking records here. Not to mention, it eats away at your hard-earned muscle. 
you ever seen a marathon runner's muscle mass, not too bulky. So I have no muscle apparently because I do a lot of steady state cardio. I do cardio to do bodybuilding shows. Almost every bodybuilder in the world at the elite level does cardio steady state to burn fat. They're walking on the treadmill. They're doing bike riding. They're doing the elliptical. They're doing steady state cardio to burn calories because it burns the most amount of calories in an hour, for example. Marathon runners are born with a very slow twitch muscle fibers. They're the kind of guys that were born to be scrawny. It's the chicken or the egg. What came first? The persons that are good at marathons were born to be small. They could take anabolics, train their hearts out, and still not be super jacked. They just don't have the genetics for that. So if you're not supposed to do long, boring, traditional cardio, why don't you put on a freaking video of me trashing your stupid, moronic opinions and do that while doing your steady state cardio on the treadmill or bicycle? Greg and chill. Jag and Greg and coach Greg and cardio. Coach Greg and chill. Just pass the time by listening to me, calling out the bullshit, teaching you the real facts, and teaching you not to listen to people who are just really frigging good looking. I know you like looking at them because they're really good looking, but you see, when you're doing cardio, you see your phone, you don't have to see it. You can listen to it. Listen to what he's saying without seeing the chiseled jawline versus listen to me with my annoying voice. I'm at least making sense. He's just spewing a bunch of BS, okay? It's a special type of cardio called HIT. No one's ever heard of that. It's brand new, he just invented it. Never been around, no one knows what high intensity interval training is. Nobody knows what it is. You're only gonna do 15 minutes of this three times a week for a total of 45 minutes. 45 minutes, you're gonna burn off thousands and millions of calories and get shredded. In one week, you're gonna notice those changes for sure. HIT stands for high intensity interval training. This is another industry secret or cheat code. What are we playing, the Gianna brothers or freaking Mario Kart cheat code? Are you kidding? HIT training is an anaerobic activity, meaning it targets your fat cells. Anaerobic means without oxygen. Without oxygen, it doesn't mean targets fat cells. Targets fat cells, no. Uses ATP, does he try phosphate for energy? The readily available energy store that's in your body, blah, 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 and you sprint, 100 meter dash, Ben Johnson fast, 100 meter dash, uses ATP for energy. Oh, oh, it's a mile, you gotta run. We gotta use some glycogen, a little bit. Oh, it's a marathon, better use a lot more fat because it's a long distance event. It's all day long, let's do this. Let's burn some carbs, let's burn some fat and use that. So he thinks that if you do hit cardio, it magically targets fat cells because anaerobic means targets fat cells. It doesn't mean without oxygen. Therefore, for a simple 15 minute hit session, you can literally burn calories for up to two days through a process called the afterburn effect. The problem is the actual afterburn effect burns about 32 calories, roughly, based on studies that he doesn't know about because he doesn't know how to read a study. He hasn't read studies. He's just reading things and he's very pretty. He looks so beautiful. It's so amazing to look at him speak because he doesn't know anything, but people are watching him because he's good looking. Yeah, you burn more fat. If you do hit cardio, you burn some calories after. About 32, 30, 20 more, depending how hard you think most people do their hit cardio. They don't look like me sprinting on a Zwift race in the last 500 meters in a race trying to beat out 100 other people around the world on a freaking game. Ah, I'm sprinting so fast. I burn a few extra calories, let's say it's 30. In an hour of my bike ride, I burn 800 calories. In 15 minutes of hit cardio, I've done it. I tried it, I measured it out. I burned less than 200 calories. And what did I do for my hit? Sprint really, really hard for like 30 seconds and then go easy for a few minutes and then sprint really, really hard, like all out and then go easy. And I burned less than 200 calories. If you do 15 minutes at 200 times four, that's 800. I burned less calories in the 15 minutes of hit than I did in the hour at that same pace. So I'm doing Two, let's round it up, let's go up. I burn 200 calories three times a week, that's 600. Plus I'm burning about 30 calories each time. Let's round that up to an extra 100 in the afterburn. 200, 200, 200, 600, an extra 100, 700. I burn 700 calories counting the afterburn, counting the 48 hours of fat burning after effect. 
Or I do one hour of cardio a week and I burn 800 calories. Who burnt more calories? Me doing one hour steady state bike ride or Mr. Sexy. You need to do certain HIIT workouts on certain days of your training at a certain intensity. And if you're not doing the right ones on the right days, you're- You have to do the right kind of HIIT cardio with the right kind of exercises on the right kind of days, on the right kind of this, on the right kind of that, on the right kind of after this. And guess what? He's not saying it right now. You have to purchase his plan later to get it. There's no way he came up with it on his own. He came up with how good looking should I be? How trimmed should I make my beard? Should it be one or two millimeters? And how high should my hairstyle be at the top? Because in common in general, all of fitness models, hair is very high up. The higher you can make your hair, the more subs you have. They should have a sub to hair ratio. The higher your hairstyle, the more subs you have. I should get my brother who's a biostatistician to do some research studies on that. Look, if I grow my hair longer, I'll get a million followers. Like, let's look at Jeff Nippard. Let's look at Brandon Harding. Let's look at all these famous YouTube people. And the longer the hairstyle, it seems the more subs they have on average in general. You have the really short haircut, you don't have a lot of subs. So there's that factor. A minute, I'm gonna give you access to what I consider the very best hit workouts and easiest. That's a freaking oxymoron. The best hit workout is the hardest one, the easiest. You're all pussies. You want easy way out. You don't want to work hard. You don't want to, and it's not sexy for me to say, you got to put the fork down and eat more fruit and vegetables and follow the food groups, eat them. Don't cut out food groups. Don't do carnivore, keto, this, all that eat smart and healthy, low calorie dense foods. It's not sexy to say the truth. Let me introduce you to our Ripped in 90 Days program. That was the whole purpose of this. Not to like give you all this great information because he just snuck information enough to get you to think about it, but you don't know how to do it. And it's just a teaser and he explains it and it's not even correct, but you need to now buy this information from him and follow it to get the body that you wanted. Then there's a supplement guide, which is really useful because First off, it's, it's gonna save you a ton of money and keep you from taking dangerous or just bad supplements. But you think he has some kind of supplement knowledge that's better than yours that you should take what he says? Oh, don't take this supplement, take this one because I, you, what is he, some kind of guru? He doesn't know what he's talking about. He's, he's very good looking. I'm not listening to the very good looking guy on what to take. It doesn't make sense, think about it. This is a super effective ab training system that delivers fast results over a progression of this 90 day period with beginner, intermediate and advanced ab workouts. And we get an ab freaking training bonus article as if training your abs is gonna give you abs. You need to get rid of the flabs to see the abs, not doing a bunch of sit ups. I do like food and that's why I hired a professional chef to help me assemble the most delicious fat burning muscle building recipes that you've ever tasted. You think that's gonna be simple stuff that you're gonna do with these mouth? No, it's not. Somebody like me, who's not a chef, who made the plan himself and designed it himself. That's somebody that's recipes that you can follow. Oh, hi, I hired this chef extraordinaire who did it. And then here, and I don't know how to do it, but the chef did it all and you do it and you can follow it and it'll be delicious if you follow the chef's recipe. You'll have three of our best selling programs for less than the cost of just an hour long session with a personal trainer. Why is it so cheap? Cause he's trying to sell a whole lot of it. Thousands. Say you said a thousand of these 67 times a thousand, $67,000. If he says sells 10,000 of these, which he probably does $670,000. That's good. If it was actually a lot of good information and he put it at $200, a lot of people aren't buying it. So he price pointed to sell the most amount of BS to the most amount of people who are morons to buy it. So the problem, the, the best part is, so you put the price low enough so that you spend the $67 and then you don't follow it anyway because it doesn't work. I'd rather spend $1,000 and actually follow it and have it work than waste $67 and not having, having it work. Anyway, edit the video here. That's enough. Oh my goodness. Subscribe, click the bell button. Be sure to watch my other videos. 
Coach Greg. Greg Doucette.com for coaching. Greg Doucette IFBB Pro. Follow me on Instagram. Blooping up the other video of, <laughs> of this guy, V Shred, right here on his 11 freaking healthy snacks. That one was insane. Can you believe it? And another video over here to watch if you had enough of the V Shred. Be sure to watch this one. And until next time, I am out. Out of spit. I've been spitting a lot lately in my videos. I can't even do it today. There we go. I'm out.